Life Changers starts now. I want people to think of this show as the answer show. Sort of like a search engine for their life. Take a look around you. Now imagine what your world would look like if you could only see 10 feet in front of you and everything else was out of focus. Now imagine you could only see 8 feet in front of you. That's exactly what happened to one young girl. Her world is literally closing in around her. And when I got a call from her grandma, I knew we needed to meet with her. Brianna's 13 years old. Three years ago, we discovered that she has a progressive eye disease called keratoconus, and it leads to blindness if it's not treated. A couple years ago, Brianna came home and said, Grandma, I'm really having a hard time seeing in school. So I took her to the eye doctor, and they didn't find anything. They just said she might have a slight stigmatism. I knew that there was a problem, but I didn't know what was wrong. After consulting several doctors, Brianna's condition was finally diagnosed. And that's when they discovered that she had keratoconus. It scared me because I didn't know if I was going to be able to see. I didn't know what was going to happen. Her cornea is cone-shaped. It distorts her vision. She sees double images. She has um, problems with daytime brightness and nighttime vision. She gets headaches regularly. It feels like the worst pain in the world. When there's too much light, if it's like a strobe light and it flashes and you're like, whoa, it's like too bright. There's two of everything and it's just hard because I don't know if I'm looking at the wrong one. She struggles every day. Stuff for in school. I can't read Blackboard. My grades are very affected because if I can't see, I can't learn. And if I can't learn, I can't do my work right. I don't get to do a lot of the things anymore that I used to be able to do. Can't do cheerleading if I can't see, horseback riding, and volleyball. I just want to continue doing those things because they're my favorite things to do, and I love it. Just to hang out with my friends, it's hard because a lot of the stuff that they want to do, I can't do. It feels like I don't really have any friends. Only a costly procedure that Joanna cannot afford can save Brianna's eyesight. More than anything, I want her eyes fixed, but there's nothing I can do about it. The idea of going blind is just absolutely horrifying. I don't know if I'm ever going to get it fixed, and I want to drive and I want to go to college, but I can't continue on with my life until I get this. Watching Brianna lose her eyesight is heart-wrenching, and to see her suffer is the worst. Please help me welcome Brianna and her grandma, Joanna. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Brianna, tell me about being a 13-year-old girl and, and dealing with this failing eyesight. Well, it's basically horrible because I can't hang out with my friends as much as I could before, and I'm afraid to ride my bike because I'm afraid that I'm going to get hit by a car, and it affects my grades in school, which means it's going to affect college and my career later on. And you have something called keratoconus, is that right? Does yes. that run in your family? No. No? Yeah. And Joanne, it must be so heartbreaking to see this beautiful young kid dealing with this. It is. It is, Dr. Drew. It's tough. She's, um, she was diagnosed three years ago, and it's just, it's just hard to think that there's a possibility that she may not be able to finish her life out with her eyesight. Oh my gosh, I get, I get a, like a stabbing pain in my stomach. Is that, is that something you feel all the time? Pretty regular. Yeah, that's your pain I'm feeling, it right? It is, it is. Wow. Brianna, help us understand how other ways it's affecting your life. Well, like, basically it's just ruining my life for me because it's, it makes me feel scared that I'm going to go blind and I'm not even going to be able to see anything. My understanding is that there is an operation that could help Brianna, is that right? Yes. There is. Mm -hmm. How come you guys can't get access to that? Well, currently I'm dealing with my own health issues. I was diagnosed the end of April with colon cancer. Oh my goodness. And um, so financially speaking, it's difficult. My insurance is gonna be running out in uh, March. And so there's, an, actually insurance doesn't even take care of this issue. Uh, they just don't, it's too new of a procedure for them to be taking care of it. 
But is, this is a procedure that could help her with her vision and, and prevent this thing from progressing. It is. It absolutely is. Um, uh, the C3R procedure is a um, riboflavin procedure that they actually paint on their eyes followed by heat and that stops the progression and then the intacts, it, Brianna's eyes are shaped like a cone right now and the intacts are like little slivers of contacts, they slip in and it changes the shape of her eye to help her see. And that's the procedure she needs? That is what she needs. And I imagine it's a terribly expensive procedure. It is. And insurances don't cover it. Correct. Oh Joanna, it takes my breath away. It's been taking my breath away for a while now. Are you the primary caretaker? I am. Her, I'm her guardian. So, so, Brand has led a very difficult life. She's had quite a few ups and downs. Well, Brianna, when I heard your story, I, I, I mean, it's obviously deeply moving, and I really felt like me and this organization and this program could make a difference for you. And, and I want to tell you, we're going to do this. We're going to fix her eyes. You're going to have Dr. Brian of the Boxer Walker Vision Institute do the procedure you've been talking about. Oh, thank you. And what we're going to do is when we come back from the break, 48 hours will have passed. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> 48 hours will have passed, and Brianna will have her vision back <gasps> when we come back. So stay tuned. You do not want to miss this. <laughs> Before the break, you met Brianna. She was going blind and could only see eight to ten feet in front of her. It was a really a heartbreaking story. Now, we, we all went home. We sent the audience home after we met her so that I could take Brianna to go and get her surgery. Take a look how that went down. So Dr. Brian, what are we going to do here today with Brianna? We're going to actually improve her vision with this revolutionary procedure called Intax. What we're going to be doing with the Intax procedure is placing these tiny microscopic inserts below the surface of the cornea. Is it sort of a ring or a lens? It actually is a combination. It looks a little like a crescent-shaped or a U-shaped segment, like a happy face, a smile. And so they go under the surface, and they will actually reverse part of the keratoconus. That will allow her to see better. Hey, Brianna, how are you feeling? Good. Oh. Nervous. Scared. Nervous. Yeah. Well, they tell me there's very little discomfort with this. Mm -hmm. What are you nervous about? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to see it floating out of my eye. The idea of somebody messing with your eyes just freaks you out a little bit. Yeah. They, they numb it up. They numb your eyes. You really don't mm -hmm. feel much of anything. Don't be nervous. Give me a hand. So the first thing that we're going to do is hold your eyelids with some gentle tape. And your job is just to be looking straight ahead. There's going to be some little measurements that you're going to hear, some beeping sounds. We're going to have a little suction. And the suction gives your eye a little bit of a squeeze. Doing great. And then we'll take the suction off. The lights will get brighter again. And we'll position the intact. And we're just putting it in the final position. Intact is in. Looks great. We just finished with the right eye, and now we're going to go on to the second eye. And we're just making a little tunnel through that little one millimeter opening, and then we're going to put the intact in this little tunnel after. So the intact is already in. So we're all done, Brianna. Everything went absolutely perfect. Can you see the clock up there? So much. And please now welcome back Brianna. I can see 2020. It's perfect. <laughs> you look so excited. Your mood is quite good. I didn't realize your mood was kind of down, but now you can kind of see it. Um, did it hurt? No, it, there was 
No, it doesn't hurt. You seem pretty brave during that whole procedure. One of my producers nearly passed out watching him. <laughs> 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 so, did it bother you? Was it was it weird? It was a little irritating, but other than that, it was perfectly fine. <laughs> what were the first thing you noticed after the surgery? The clock. <laughs> Just, and, it was, and it was clear. Yeah, it was crystal clear. I mean, it was probably five feet away, but still, I could see it better than I would ever be able to see before. And Joanna, what noticed what? changes have you seen in Brianna? Uh, over the past 24 hours, I've seen her be more confident, actually, in, in uh, everything that she does. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen you smile so much. Uh. <laughs> so, well, I want to introduce you now to the man responsible for restoring Brianna's vision, Dr. Brian S. Boxer Walkler. He's a renowned eye surgeon. He's in the front row here. Thank you, Dr. Brian. Thank you, Dr. Brian. Yeah, excellent story. So, how, how common is keratoconus? Well, keratoconus actually is much more common now than ever before. It used to be 1 in 2,000 people, but now it's actually 1 in 500, so it's extremely common nowadays. Now, back when I was in training, we would we'd pick up keratoconus and we'd go, well, this is going to progress and you're going to have problems, I'm not sure when, and you're probably going to need a corneal transplant. See you when that happens. Mm -hmm. How many doctors are not aware that this restorative procedure is available, do you think? What percentage? I don't know exactly, but I know it's high because I see people every day when I evaluate people that have keratoconus and they have the common story of, my doctor never told me about these other procedures. They just said I had to wait until my vision got bad enough for a cornea transplant. So it's, it, it breaks my heart to hear that in this day and age, that misinformation is is still out there. Well, I think the important thing is we're getting this word out. And uh, those of you uh, that are not physicians but have physicians, please inform your physicians. Mm -hmm. uh, Brianna, is there something you want to tell Dr. Brian? Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so welcome. And I have something special for you. Do you remember you were holding on to our little stuffed dog, Cornelius? Yes. Oh. Well, Cornelius has a cousin named Iris. <laughs> Brianna, what are you most excited about doing when you get home? Going to school and seeing all my friends again. Seeing mm -hmm. your friends? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You had told me you were sort of losing friends because you couldn't keep up with all those activities. Mm -hmm. That you go back and engage with them? Mm -hmm. Well, Brianna, um, you mentioned, the, and we've repeatedly mentioned how important friends are and how supportive they've been. We have someone here with us who wants to congratulate you in person. Please welcome Madison. <gasps> Pretty exciting, huh? Yeah. Well, we're not done with you yet. Madison, you brought something for Brianna, right? A prize? Yes. Shall we give it to her? Yeah. All right, here it is. Oh, cool. Thank you. Holy crap, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> it is a cheerleading outfit. So Brianna, now that she can see, can rejoin the team, right? Yeah. What's the pay stand for? Kingsford. Kingsford. <laughs> You got something to say to Madison, Brianna? Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. Oh. Madison you. has this to see her saying, look at her, she looks totally different, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> well, our surprises aren't quite finished yet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's more. There's more. Uh, one's for you, one's for Grandma. We're going to send, first of all, all of you to Disneyland. Oh, my God. Oh. Nice. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty good, right? That's all right. Awesome. And Grandma, to help you recover from all this, when you get home, we've got a spot day arranged for you. Oh, so. oh thank you. Well, thank you. I could use Yes, that. I'm sure after all this. It's been quite an experience. It'll be Grandma's own Disneyland day. <laughs> Absolutely. But, uh, all right, when we return, we're going to talk about the warning signs that you could be losing your vision. Stay with us.